Morning, this is Zach with Green Cover coming at you from my field this morning. We're planting some, some spring forages. I have my Green Cover high vis shirt because farm safety is no accident. I want to show you this morning about how to calibrate a grain drill when you're doing a cover crop mix, a special deforage, a monoculture or something, and just easy way to do that with household items. So I've got three things that I need this morning. A couple Ziploc bags, my wife's kitchen scale that measures in grams, and two preset zip ties. So let's go around here and we'll show you how we get started with this. So what we do, I've already started some of this, but we take a seed tube off and take our zip on bag, poke it through one of these preset zip ties, bend it around, it right on there. So that it stays what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one of those on both sides because the box drill has two different levers as you can see this one's only 15 foot but it has two levers as well and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to our tractor and we're gonna measure out 150 feet which is not super far and we're gonna put our hat down put your old paper towels whatever it may be and that's gonna mark your front tire so mark it off your front tire your tractor and just a pro tip Go ahead and mark the front tire of your tractor as well. So when you go down and need to come back, you don't have to re-step off 150 feet. But let's do that and let's see what we come up with. Okay, so we're at the tractor, come off the front wheel. Always make sure you're out past your drill. Just toss down your marker so that, so that you don't run over it. All right, so I got my 50 steps, 150 feet from my tractor. So now we're gonna go get in that tractor and drive down here. One thing to remember before you put your Ziploc baggies on your drill, let it down and drive just a little ways to fill your meter up. Because if you don't, your calibration here and your 150 feet of actual planning will be blank or skewed just a little bit because there won't be any seed in those meters yet. All right, so coming up on our marker here. We'll get right next to the tire, we're gonna go ahead and stop. At this point, raise the implement up. And go check and see what we got. All right, as we can see, got a little bit of seed in there. Let's go ahead and pull this off on this side. Grab this one as well. But those zip ties, don't make them too tight so you can slide them on and off so you can keep reusing them. Also, when you're taking those bags off, try to keep them either in your hands so you know which side of the drill they're on because more than likely, one side's gonna be seating a little bit heavier than the other. All right, we're back in the tractor because it's a little bit windy today. You can see I got my wife's kitchen scale set on grams, the Ziploc baggie of seed. We're gonna set it on there. See our readout, so our left side of our drill is 15 grams. Right side of our drill, 17 grams. So like I said, 18. Um, those Ziploc baggies weigh two grams each, so it'll be 13 and 16 grams. So after we have those numbers, we get on and the University of Kentucky has a grain drill calibration chart and it tells you for your row spacing, how far you drive, it tells you 150 feet and then it tells you how many grams of seed you're getting out. We'll tell you your seeding rate for your mix and then you just calibrate off of that. For this one, we're trying to seed some clover into an alfalfa stand. So we're trying to get to a pretty low seeding rate. So I'm gonna cut my drill back a little bit more on my levers. I uh, already set it for what the drill box had told me I needed it for, but like normal, it's about 30% high. So I'm going to repeat this process, raise it up, turn around. Since I marked the other end, I don't have to measure again and just go ahead and collect this until I get my drill seated just right. All right, we just did another test run here. Let's grab our seed bags from both sides. So this slips off, use the same zip ties so I don't have to waste those. All right, we're back to our scale here. Drop those on. Nine grams, that's seven grams on the left. 10 grams on the right. So you can see I still got that right side just a little bit heavy. So let's check our seating rate and see what we come up with. All right, so that seating rate runs me about seven, seven and a half pounds an acre at the seven grams. So I'm gonna tweak that other side down just a little bit more, maybe another tick on the lever there. And I'm gonna go ahead and run. I do wanna point something out. So these box drills, it seems like a lot of times we can't get the seating rate set accurately or people say that they really won't cut down low enough, but that's putting on seven pounds an acre of this frosty bursine clover, which is a very, very low rate. So it's got very minimal room for error. So we really wanna make sure we're getting it set right. I do this as well with 
all my cover crop mixes, you know, it takes me less than 15 minutes once I get this process set up. All right, so my final piece of advice when calibrating your grain drill, some of you may notice I'm in a different part of the field. Don't forget to hook your seed tubes back up before you get started, because if you don't, you'll stop on the other side of the field to fix it. And that's all I have for you today. I hope this has helped help somebody out, and don't forget, let green cover help keep you covered.